<laughs> I know, right? Hey, my people, my people, my people, my women, my women, my women. Happy International Women's Day 2019. The campaign theme is balance for better. The future is exciting, so let's build a gender balanced world. Everyone has a part to play all the time, everywhere. We acknowledge the, um, the great women out there. We see you, we congratulate you, but we also see the absence of women. We have come a far way where women's rights and leadership roles are concerned. In earlier years, things were left to the mundem um, when it came to taking the lead. Uh, fast forward decades later, I'm happy to live in an era where women's voice is heard and followed. Well, most of the time. Here to tell us why ladies should be leaders, political analyst Nadine Spence from Elect Her Logistics um, Co logistics coordinator, did I get it right? Chantal R. Well, Correct. and public relations officer Renee Wright. How are you both? Night. 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 How yes. are you, ladies? We're good. We're, good. we're, good. we're happy, happy international. Happy, happy international. Happy international. Happy international. Yes. Thank you for your contribution Thank you. to our nation. I just love being with other women. It, it, it makes, makes me feel good. We have so much in common. So I'm honored to, to be sitting here with you this morning. Ladies yeah. and Gentlemen watching, <laughs> tell me a little bit about Elect Her. Who would like to start? What's Elect okay, Her? Okay, seeing that I'm the PRO. So you better start. talk, really. Exactly. <laughs> um, so Elect Her is a one-day leadership conference mm -hmm. hosted by the Mary C. Cole Hall. Yes. It's in its 10th year. Mm -hmm. So it's a conference and workshop in one, and it's geared towards equipping and informing women about the skills and information that they need to run successful campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, we do this in collaboration with Running Start, and it's an international organization that trains women who want to run in the political arena. Mm -hmm. So UE is the only non-American university that partakes in this mm -hmm. on a yearly basis. Why? Why are you doing this, Nadine? Because, um, well, I don't know if you know, the University of the West Indies has a student government, and yes. student government has had 70 president. Of the 70 president, Seven have been women. Okay. Even though there are more women Even at the though University there were women West, at the University than men. Then. And so we've had decades. In the 70s, we had three guild presidents who were women. And then we never had any in the 80s. And at the end of the 90s, I think we had one. Mm -hmm. And since elector, we've had more women running, even if they never won. So like Crystal Tomlinson would have been a part of Elector right. and would have won, ran, not won, but mm -hmm. she would have ran. And the important thing is to get women to run. Michaela Gonzalez, Laverne King, Shanice Allen, a number of women who have gone on to lead at the guild at different levels have been a part of the, the campaign. So the idea is to equip women with the skills to run a successful campaign, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To, to decide um, who will make up my campaign team who are the person, how much money do I need to run the campaign? What would my campaign strategy be? My slogan, my speech, how do I approach a potential voter? And, you know, to be confident in this space as well because of women's um, exclusion from leadership and from political leadership in mm -hmm. particular. Women have not been um, as successful at, uh, women are afraid sometimes of, yes. of electioneering and yes. of campaigning and all of that. Well, <laughs> It's a tough job when you're out there. And mm -hmm. Jamaican's not easy. And as a woman, <laughs> I think you need to have a different kind of armor on to be to able to, it, to and deal with true. that. Eh? It is true. And I want to go there with the current, um, the current yeah. atmosphere now with East Portland in a minute. Chantal, yes. you're not just political ana analyst, though, Nadine. Um, your role at Mary Seacole? I am the Student Services and Development Manager of Mary right. C. Cole Hall. Right. And, and elect her. And your... elect her now. I am the campus coordinator. Campus coordinator. So 10 years ago, we, I started sending young women to a conference in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. um, uh, which was focused on women leading at yes. Maryland University. Yes. And then we applied to have this elect her on campus. And we mm -hmm. got the permission because Running Start is a Washington, D.C. based um, initiative. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know if you know, but in the last US election, 50 odd percent of the women who now occupy seats in the house were a part we, of Running Start? Were in college. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so w the idea is the more you train women in the university yeah. to start thinking through their pot possibility of a, of a mm -hmm. political mm -hmm. career, mm -hmm. of a competitive, of running a competitive election, mm -hmm. chances are you'll change the dynamics at the national level. Well, you sure put Crystal Tom to be the, um, <laughs> the youth voice for the PNP, the youth arm. Um, <clears throat> so she's definitely uh, has taken up that role. Right. And let me start with you, Chantel. Logistics of this elector 
conference. Yes. Take me through it, please. Okay. And what are you running for? Where, where am I going to see you in five years? <laughs> All right. So I am the logistics coordinator for Elector, mm -hmm. and that entails me booking the room, me planning the program, me ensuring that everything goes well on the day. We have mm -hmm. enough seats, we have enough meals for the people mm -hmm. who are coming. So I feel as though my, my, my portfolio is very, very important. Of course. So currently I am the cultural and entertainment affairs chairperson for mm -hmm. the Mary Seacole Hall. Oh. I'm also an exit member for IGIG, which is um, I'm Glad I'm a Girl Foundation, mm -hmm. which is also a women empowerment group on the Mary Seacole Hall. Lovely. Do I call you Madam Chair, Chairman? <laughs> which one works? Nadine. <laughs> 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 I, st I tell my students yes. to say chairwoman. Chairwomen. And chair oh. say, I'm a chairwoman because you have to you have to deal with language. Language is powerful. Yeah. So there was a time when everything was man-centered. People said yeah. chairman. Mm -hmm. And I challenged that oh. by saying, um, you're the chairwoman chair of uh -huh. Mary C. Uh -huh. Language I'm actually can be fixed. a nominee. So yes. I'm a candidate for the position. So... She's Not running. Yet. I'm a so candidate. She's, a candidate. Yes. she's launching yes. her campaign. Yes. She's getting her message together. Yes. Well, so, so, have you, so as young people, before we're going to elect her um, and your guests that will be speaking, who I'm sure has so much to offer, mm -hmm. especially sitting next to a man yeah. at, at the top of the leadership, mm -hmm. I have to ask you young people, Renee and Chantel, before I ask Nadine, you cannot run as shareholders of this country from the political landscape what's happening in east portland now it blew up your all social media savvy i'm sure everybody heard the comments from damian crawford i don't know if you were following his um presentation to the the constituents mm -hmm. but did you do you have any thoughts on how that campaign is going now and what's coming from the candidates candidate elect is that a correct term Lady Nadine, I want to be politically correct here today. So, I want to feel, you must have an opinion. Come on, because I know you've been talking about it with your peers. Anything um, to offer to, to add to the narrative? Um, to, for me personally, I think that um, when you highlight things in that manner, like just using classism to demote somebody's ability to lead, mm -hmm. um, it's like black people saying that, oh, black people are only good at playing sports and things like that. It's not something that you do in that context mm -hmm. and a person's ability to lead isn't dependent necessarily on their gender but their ability to lead mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's my take on that okay thing. Mm -hmm. and i agree with renee because i feel as though when women are running we tend to use petty things to try to pull them down they don't look on how they, what how, what type of leader they are we have never heard what type of leader are you mm -hmm. we've always heard uh oh she's a woman mm -hmm. she'll miss work because of Women's or I'm worth something because I'm married. Yes. Exactly. My you last name like is this. what gives mm -hmm. me worth. Mm -hmm. exactly. Who mm -hmm. I lay down with gives mm -hmm. me worth. Mm -hmm. And how do we run from that? Is that that's, uh, and that's one that's of the right. things that we talk about in Elector. How we challenge the narrative that says women do not belong in leadership. Mm -hmm. And how do we get people to understand that um, we are, as women, we are not accepting that anymore. Mm -hmm. And that kind of languaging around our potential and our capacities mm -hmm. is discriminatory. And mm -hmm. it is located in certain kinds of systems that I, I know people, patriarchy and mm -hmm. patriarchy is, is a preference for male leadership. Mm -hmm. And women display preference for male leadership as well. And that there is something called sexism that is as dangerous as racism mm -hmm. and classism. Mm -hmm. And that we use that sometimes to work against women's ability to effectively lead. You know, it's so hard, Nadine. Um, do you think there should be some kind of code of ethics for campaigning as it relates to sexism and gender reference when we go out on the, the political stage? You know, like, it's, can, there, can there be a code of ethics developed to, to handle those kinds of things? I think Where I don't go in your bedroom, I don't go yeah. in your... Your host and your, your, yeah. your class, your real. There are certain things that should be off topic. Like, this is not something that you should do. I think that as, as the political, this is something for the political ombudsman, and it's mm -hmm. a woman called the ombudsman, yes. um, to, to look at, you know, as we, get as we get more and more women into politics and as we go to the thing that we know, which is to, you know, you trace off people with what you think is their weakness, you highlight mm -hmm. their weakness. And mm -hmm. the weakness in political leadership is being a woman. That's a weakness. Oh, and no. so I, one of the thing, things that we have to do is start thinking, 
talking about how do we set up the conversation that is okay for mm -hmm. us to have. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, I speak my mind. I'm not into this thing of political correctness. Mm -hmm. So you must, and we're following our, our, our neighbors from the north, you mm -hmm. know, not, mm -hmm. not, not choosing leadership that says the thing that builds community or, mm -hmm. or that, you know, serves the need of the population that it is, that it is supposed to serve. I think what I'm hearing now is there, that we can have different kinds of conversations in different spaces. spaces yeah. There's nothing wrong with talking about race and classism. It's what people have a problem with that in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And it's true. Yeah. Rowan has always been better and things like that. So mm -hmm. we, we have to mm -hmm. have the conversation, but yeah. is the right space when you're campaigning? Right. Is that the right and time? And do you give one candidate the responsibility of a history of problems. Yes, there, that's so. true. We have to go to a break. Your lead, your um, elect her conference will see MP Juliet, Honorable Juliet Holness. Well, we're not quite sure no, she's on the no. campaign trail, oh, so right. we're ho still hoping she can can be there. Yeah, okay. I see but that. We you... also have Renee Dinkins from Washington, who's our facilitator and who will do much of the training for the day. Okay. And Christina Williams, who is currently the Guild Secretary, mm -hmm. will also be. Um, speaking. Ah, oh, lovely. And it's uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. From 8.30 to 3 o'clock at the Faculty of Law, Law at UWIN. And anybody can turn up. Yes. Any, well, we're inviting uh, women who are running and interested yes. in leadership. Yes, ma'am. Young women. Yes. Thank you so much, ladies. I wish you, you all the best. Thank Political you. analyst Nadine Spence and the campus coordinator for Elect Her, logistics coordinator for Elect Her, Chantal Artwell, and public relations officer Renee Knight. And when you see somebody driving bad, to my driver, don't say it's a Woman, because I'm on a dry bag. Me if I tell you. Mm. That was a conversation we had the other day. <laughs> All right, News in Five is next, my people.